Having a backup of your courses has obvious importance. If anything happens to a course, it gets corrupted somehow, somebody plays with something, destroys it, you have a backup of your course that you can put in very quickly. Another thing that's important is that when you back up an existing course, it will also back up student data. So that alone may dictate how often you want to do backups. I also set a personal schedule so that I download my backups to my hard drive manually every week or so because I don't want to lose too much information. Uh, when I have active courses, personally as an instructor, I download my course every day so that I don't lose information. So let's look at the general backup defaults. When we look at these, you can see the different things that are necessary. How long do you want to keep the logs for? Do you want to include users? Usually I say yes on this one. I don't want it anonymous because I want to make sure everybody gets credit for the work that they've done. Role assignments, if you make any special ones, those are in there. Your activities, resources, basically everything for your course. And you'll notice that by default, by default they are checked. Including logs, sometimes you want to keep logs. Uh, I, I usually like to keep the logs because that lets me see what the students did, when they did it, how long they were in an area. Uh, often I've had students say, yeah, I watched that two hour video and I look at the log and it says they were only in that section for 30 seconds. Histories, yes, I want to include my histories. And, but that's just me personally. You have to remember, this is configuring it for your institution. And then I simply click Save Changes and I'm good to go. Okay, so we can go back here to Backups again. And the next part I want to look at is my automated backup setup. This I find very important. I can automate my backup. So you want to enable that. Then I can say when I want it to back things up. I might want it to do it twice a week, so I'm going to do mine on Sundays and Wednesdays. I want it to execute at 1.30 a.m. That should be when fewer students are on it, it's going to be a smoother backup process. I'm going to put it in the course file backup area, but you can also specify directories if you want to. I'm not specifying one, so this doesn't have to be filled in. If you are doing that, you want to put the full path to the directory. Number of times, number of backups kept. Now, this is going to take up space on your drive, so you have to consider that. If you have a great deal of space, you might want to keep five backups so that you can go back a couple of iterations. Uh, keep backups, how long do you want to keep them for? So. I might want to keep my backups for just uh, 10 days. This is a decision by your institution, remember that. Minimum number of backups kept, well there's no minimum there, I'm only doing a maximum of two so it's not so bad. Use the course name in the backup, by default it says no. I like to see the course name in the file backup, it helps me know what that file is if I have to restore it. Skip hidden courses, default is yes. I'm going to say no because if somebody's working on a course, I want to pick that up too. Skip courses not modified since. So this is a good one because if nobody's done any work in it for 30 days, I don't need to back it up. I, my backup's good. So usually I, I cut that to a week. Skip courses not modified since previous backup. That's a good one too because that means it's already been backed up. You don't have to create another backup. Including users, always a good thing to do. Bowl assignments, if you create those, that's good. Activities and resources, that's your course. So that, of course you want those. Same way with blocks and files. So most of these we leave as they are. Personal decision on logs and histories, whether or not you want to keep those. They do take more space, but I'd like to have them. And then when I'm all done, I save changes. And now I have automated my backups. They're going to occur for me every week automatically, and I don't have to worry about it anymore.